Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to do a Target beauty haul. Well, yeah, I guess you could say beauty. Yeah, you could say beauty. All right, so we're gonna do a Target beauty haul. Let's jump right in to, let's just jump right into what I got. First things first, I got this water bottle. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Honestly, I saw the color and I was just like, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give I gotta have it. I just really love the color, to be honest with you. And thankfully, the bottle turned out to be really, really nice. Um, I can put ice and water in this thing, and like at night before I go to bed. And when I wake up the next morning, like you can still hear ice in the bottle and it is super duper cold. I don't know about you, but I like my water to be cold super cold like i love super cold water there's nothing better to me than cold water so i love this guy um i will try to link it in the description box i don't know if they have these on the website if not i will try to find this particular company and link their website down below because these bottles are actually really really nice um they're metal they're insulated this the tops, you can buy different tops, so they're all interchangeable. I have the 32 ounce. My kiddos have the 16 ounce cups, bottles, whatever you wanna call them. My son has the white one. My daughter has a light baby pink version. Um, like I said, theirs are smaller. They came with these drinking spouts, which is just like this little like straw um, drinking spout thing, but you can also buy other attachments. Um, like an open mouth so you could just like turn it up like a water bottle which is also cool I have one of those and I, I was using it but I've recently just been drinking out of this uh, the this bottle was $17.99 I think my kids were $12.99 each don't quote me because I don't remember for sure but I know that the drinking spouts were like $7.99 so not too bad if you want to get a new bottle um I definitely recommend. I'm enjoying it. I've been using it since I got it. I haven't even used any other cups that I had before. So obviously I like it. All right, let's jump in to some products. Okay, so I have used most of these products already. So bear with me if they look a little dirty. First thing I picked up is the Makeup Revolution Roxy Contour and Highlight Palette, which looks like this. It's really, really pretty, but it shows a lot of fingerprints. So if you're someone that gets like a little annoyed by like dirty palettes, like you're not going to love the outside of this. Here. Oh, that's, <laughs> I was like, the mirror's coming out, but it's just like the little plastic inlay. Okay, so here is the palette right here. Today I used this color to contour with and it worked perfectly now i've had my makeup on for several hours several hours so don't judge it too harshly but i will say i really like the way it blended i like the color it worked really really well and i also have this golden highlight on as like a cheek highlight and stuff like that but honestly don't judge my makeup right now or judge this palette by my makeup right now because like I said it's been on for quite some time but it has held up really really nicely on my face it hasn't really disappeared so I really like that and it is awesome that Target is now selling Makeup Revolution that is an awesome thing so I really do like that palette I definitely suggest you go grab it I think it was like $14.99 15 bucks so not a bad price for a contour highlight palette I really do enjoy it and with summer coming up and like I'm going to be going more bronzy and like glowy, uh, glowy and hoey, no. <laughs> but I'm really going to be using products like that a lot more. Speaking of products I'm going to use during the summer a lot more, I picked up the Makeup Revolution. It is the Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer Glow and I got it in light. And I'm going to be honest with you, this looks quite dark for a light bronzer, in my opinion. Like, to me, it just looks pretty.
pretty dark. I am like self tanned right now. Like I have on a good coating of self tanner. I just don't know how well this bronzer would work on my fair complexion without some self tanner. I'm sorry, my dog's laying upside down over there looking at me. She looks so cute and silly. Um, but with that being said, this pan is massive and it blends really nicely and it looks really nice on the skin. You just have to use a really light hand. They also had it in medium and dark as well. I cannot imagine what dark would look like if this is light though. So try at your own risk. Anyways, so next up we have this Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. I got mine in the scent pomegranate. I have used it. It smells so good. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's just a white creamy exfoliant. It has little, it's instead of like a sugar or salt scrub that has like big chunks, it has more of a fine grit to it, almost like sandpaper. Um, but it's really fine. It's super moisturizing. So when you exfoliate with this, when you get out of the, the shower, you're not going to have that tight like painful skin feeling, it's going to feel more moisturized. It's almost going to feel like you put on lotion already, which I really enjoyed. And this is super nice to use before you apply self tanner because it not only exfoliates, but it also helps put a little bit of moisture back in your skin. And this one smells amazing. I really love this product. You can buy it anywhere Dove products are sold. And I'm so glad that I tried it out. I think I heard Danny Austin talking about it on Instagram and I was like, all right, I have to try that out. And I'm so, so glad I did. All right, so next up, we have two little like masky type products. The first is the Vita Mask. This is the lip mask and it's supposed to plump and repair. Um, I had, I bought two of each of these. I've tried one, I've tried both of these already. I would not say that this really plumps or repairs. Does it give you a little moisture on your lips? Yes, so does ChapStick. I'll leave it at that. Would I repurchase? No. Next. All right, so the Yes to Tomatoes. This is a uh, two-step nose kit. Bye-bye, blackheads. Okay, so the first step inside is like this giant cotton swab looking thing and a package of cleanser with like the little scrubby beads in it like a biore biore situation okay you take the big cotton swab thingy you put it in the cleanser stuff you scrub your nose to open up the pores and get the pores just ready to get the blackhead sucked out after that you rinse it you wet your nose you know the drill with nose strips you put on the nose strip this comes with one nose strip and one thing of cleanser. No, don't waste your time. If you want to buy the Yes to Tomatoes cleanser, I'm pretty sure they sell it separately. Go buy that and go buy a box of Biore um, charcoal blackhead pore strips. Buy a box of those. It's, it's way better. This is a cool experience. It's fun to try if you're just having like a self-care day but honestly I would pass this up as well you're only getting one nose strip I don't know it's a lot of packaging and a lot of flash for a one-time use I won't repurchase that either all right so when one thing that I will repurchase time and time again is the cocoa floss and delicious mint this is hands down the best dental floss you will ever try and you're probably like you're talking about dental floss yes i'm talking about dental floss it's a little pricey i think it's 8.99 or 9.99 for a thing of dental floss but what does this say i think it's a three month supply though is what it says two months it's a two month supply of dental floss so if you think about it, $10, $8 for a month supply, no, two months supply of dental floss is not bad at all because let's be honest, a lot of us probably for, forget or neglect to floss every day, so it's going to last you longer. Don't even, 
don't even at me because you know we all do it. We get too lazy to floss and we say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. But anyways, this says it's a loofah for your smile and boy are they right. This floss is amazing. My teeth feel so clean, so just pampered after I use this. I love it, love it. It gets so well in the in between your teeth. It gets everything, it really scrubs in there. It's not your typical wax floss. It's more of like a bouncy like floss that really gets in there and scrubs and it is amazing. So if you have not tried this, you need to try this. Another recommendation from Danny Austin. Um, and I will give you a recommendation if you don't follow her on Instagram, which you probably do, but if you don't, you should because she is just an amazing little human being. She is so precious. I'll try to remember to link her down below. Don't, don't quote me, I'll probably forget. All right, so next thing I picked up is the Mighty Patch. And I've already ripped into these bad boys because mama had a blemish that she needed to put a patch on. Um, it comes with six patches for nighttime and six invi inv invisible patches for the daytime. Honestly, I don't see the nighttime patches on my skin or the invisible patches really. And they're really great if you have on a mask and your zits underneath the mask. You just put them on there, nobody can see. So you're just gonna wanna apply these to clean skin, leave them on six hours minimum, but I leave mine on for as long as I feel like it, to be completely honest with you. And these bad boys really soak in just the nasty gunk. I had one of these on when I was working out one day and when I looked at it, you could see everywhere that like gross stuff, like sweat was coming out of my pores on the patch because it had soaked everything up into the patch. It was gross and cool all at the same time. But anyways, these are a repurchase. I have bought these. I've bought like three boxes of these. I will continue to repurchase. I like to keep these on hand because they are just good to have. But again, they're the Mighty Patch from Hero Cosmetics. All right, so next up, I grabbed two masks at Target. One is, okay, listen, this is in French, and I'm not about to have y'all hating on me because I butcher this, but it means it's me. C'est moi? I don't know. I don't know, okay? I don't speak French. I took Spanish. <laughs> Anyways, so it is just a soothing cucumber and aloe gel facial mask, and it says it's made for young, delicate skin, and mama ain't got young skin, but I do have sensitive skin, so I figured it would be gentle. And it is really gentle, almost so gentle I couldn't tell that it did anything. It was nice, it was cooling, it smelled nice. Um, would I repurchase? Probably not, just being honest. But for all my youngins out there that don't need a lot done to their skin, they had a whole line of these products. Um, at Target and I will try to link them down below so you can try them out if I have any youngins in here that need some really delicate um, gentle products but they are paraben free they don't test on animals they're fragrance free no um, phthalates sulfates mineral oils dyes anything like that so good and clean then I also got this Amy um, this Amy brand mask and it is a naturally kind clear and calm detoxifying clay mask. This one was really nice. It did seem to clean out the skin, but it didn't over dry or anything like that. This is another clean company. They're dermatologist approved. They don't test on animals. Um, free of sulfates, parabens, colorants, mineral oil, silicones. All the nasty stuff is not included in this product, which is really nice. And they also have a full like line of Amy products at Target as well. So go check them out, show them some love, try out some new skincare, you never know what you might find. And then, all right, so this is the last product before we get into just nothing but makeup revolution makeup. So let's blow through this real quick. It is the Nexus Smooth and Full Blow Dry Balm. It's supposed to control fizz, boost volume, heat protect. And I really, really do enjoy this. I think it was under $15. I wanna say maybe $12.99. I can't remember for sure though. Um, but it's for all hair types and it smells really nice. It is really nice. It doesn't feel gunky or junky on your hair. It doesn't feel like it's building up on my scalp. I have used this quite a few times already 
and I do like it. I feel like it does help smooth down like the flyaways and all that stuff. Um, so no complaints from me. I really do enjoy Nexus products. So if you haven't tried out Nexus, they are a little bit pricier for a drugstore find, but um, you can get Nexus at Ulta, you can get it at Target, and it's just a really nice hair care line. I really enjoy their products, so if you haven't, you want to try them out, go and do it. I love them. All right, so the next products are all Makeup Revolution makeup products. So first thing we have is this Luxury Baking Powder, and it's the banana powder, and I don't like it. I tried it. It's too dark. It's too yellow for underneath my eyes. Um, I'm going to try it other places um, just to make sure that I don't like it in other areas, but I did not like it underneath my eyes whatsoever. It was just too yellow and too dark for me. It almost looked like orange underneath my eyes, if that makes sense, and obviously nobody wants orange under eyes. So, not my favorite, but I will give it a few more tries and make sure that it's, you know, not something that I will end up loving. Next, I grabbed the, all of this is Makeup Revolution, so I'm going to stop saying that. I grabbed the Pout Balm. It's a plumping lip gloss, and don't worry, it does not hurt. It is not, like, uncomfortable to wear. It just gives a little bit of a tingle, just a tiny bit. Um, it has a nice large doe foot applicator. It is not too thick. It's not too sticky. It's a nice lip gloss and I'm not even a lip gloss girl. So I can wear it. If you're a lip gloss girl, you can probably wear it, but it's in the shade kiss and it's just a really nice like pink color. Then I also picked up the Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon, and to me, it kind of just reminds me of a ColourPop lippy pencil, and I got it in the shade Chauffeur. It's a really nice shade. This is easy to apply. You don't have to have lip liner, so if you're out and about and you need to reapply, you don't have to worry about needing lip liner. I applied it today without lip liner, and it went on perfectly fine, so don't worry about that. And then we have a couple more products, and then we're done. Okay, so I picked up this Fast Brow Pomade. It's a clickable pomade pen, okay? Let me see if you can focus on that. There you go. Okay, so it's a clickable pen that you just push the button and the pomade comes out of this little end, which is like the silicone rubber, 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 like bristles that give you like sh hair strokes. The all, okay. I both hate this and love this all at the same time. Okay, I like it because it stays on. Okay, it's not going anywhere. I hate that I got dark brown because, okay, sorry, my camera battery decided that it was exhausted and I needed to change to a new one. All right, I don't know where I left off, okay. I love this and I hate this. I hate that I got it in dark brown because it's too dark for me, which typically I can get away with darker colors, but I should have thought about the fact that it's a pomade and therefore is gonna be a lot more aggressive than like a pencil. I can get away with like darker eyebrow pencils for the simple fact that um, I can go light handed on my brow hair. So it's not that big of a deal. So the dark brown is way too dark. Um, I think I have a picture from when I tried it. So actually I do. I tried this the day I filmed this video the first time and my mic wasn't turned on. So therefore there was no sound. So that's why I'm refilming it. Anyways, um, I had this on. So in my thumbnail, if you go look at it, my eyebrows are super dark. Also, I'm wearing different clothes because I've already made the thumbnail and I'm not remaking it. So anyways, <laughs> my eyebrows are super dark and that's because I used this and I hated how dark my eyebrows looked. So if you have really thick eyebrows though, I think this would be great for you. 
I don't want to write this product off. I don't know if I should try it in a lighter color and see because it wasn't terrible. I'm conflicted. I'm not going to give my full opinion on this, but if you've tried this and you like it or you hate it, like let me know down below because I'm curious. Because honestly, I don't know how I feel. I hated the color, but that doesn't mean it's a bad product. So, moving on. All right, so last two makeup products that I got from Makeup Revolution are the Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation. And then I got the concealer that is also the Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer. Okay, so these say they are medium to full coverage. The concealer is definitely medium coverage. It also has a doe foot applicator that reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape as far as the size goes. Um, so I do like that. I like the size of the applicator. It's awesome. It's not one of those little baby ones you have to dip in a hundred times to get enough product. I got this one in C2 and I got this one in F6. The color matches are just fine. Um, I have tried both of these once. When I tried them, my skin was a little, it was a little dry. It was a little on the crunchy side. Um, so I didn't love these at that time just because my skin didn't look its best. But... I will say I'm going to keep giving them a try because I saw potential in these products. Um, so we're going to have to keep trying these out. Maybe I'll do a video where we kind of like play with these together and we just chit chat or something because I have a good amount of Makeup Revolution products. I have foundation, concealer. I can't use this brow product because this shit's too dark. Um, I have powder. I have lip I have bronzer, I have a highlight and um, contour palette. So I can basically do an entire um, like face of Makeup Revolution products. I don't have a blush. Maybe I'll go pick up the remaining products that I don't have from them and we'll do like a full face of Makeup Revolution products. I don't know, let me know if that's something you would be interested in. Just let me know in the comments down below. All right, so. Another thing that I picked up at Target, I know that I said I was almost done, um, but I just saw this and I forgot it was sitting there, is the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt. This is the Relax and Relief. It is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint scent, and oh my gosh, it is so amazing. I love this scent. It smells so good and so relaxing. This is my favorite bubble bath guys I pick up one of these almost every time I go into Target it's like $4.99 a bottle these bottles have 34 fluid ounces in them so they have tons of bubble bath in there you don't need a whole lot to really fill your tub with bubbles and it it does really nice good just like fluffy bubbles um, I love a good bubble bath for relaxing so this is one of my like go-to products that I keep on hand all the time. So I picked up one of those and that's it. I think that's it as far as, yeah, Target sack is empty, guys. Okay, so that has been this Target beauty haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go. Hit that thumbs up so I know you enjoyed this video. Uh, ring that bell so you're notified next time I upload and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye